What is going on here fam? Guess what we're doing? So I installed rods right here. See that? The splitter for the splitter for the four piece slip. But my friend, he's got a type R on that side. And he said he's seen a lot of people. You probably have seen them too. Like on the highway or something, they run into something. Like this bumper will like, like if you mess this up, the whole bumper might come off. So what we're gonna do today is take the bumper off and attach this to the crash bar so this way you actually have support on it like right now you're just putting support on the bumper itself so if you crash into something the bumper might fall, fall off as well chances are 70 80 percent yes but you don't want to risk that on the highway it's going to happen over time <laughs> <laughs> so here we go ahead and start this process and it takes a nice measurement on there we had to home depot real quick and check it out and also guys if you guys i know most of you guys inspired by my channel and stuff most of you started modifying your accord because of my channel you guys been doing modifications instead of going to the shop because of my channel so you guys been asking me hey how can we support you how can i thank you well now you have the chance to do that all you got to do is below my video there's a join button go ahead and join me and stay tuned for more awesome content coming up as well so i'm gonna teach you guys how to actually install that as well so that's gonna be very aggressive for your accord so stay tuned and keep watching don't skip anything That's his type R right there, chilling underneath the roof. Look at that. Dirty. No, it's not dirty. What are you talking about? Let me get closer. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Comment below if you guys want to see this thing in action. If you want to see it, like a walk around of it and see what it's got to it. Comment below. Smash the like button. Trying to take the bumper off. What you got to do is take these clips off of this right here not that one these three only the front ones right there and then this one that one that one and then there's going to be three screws behind this here and a clip we'll take it out just for the liner and i'll show you guys where there's one screw right there underneath this in the back and there's two but you gotta rotate your wheels to the right take this out and the left to the other side i'll show you guys real quick i know you guys are gonna be looking for it like hey i can't see it where is it <laughs> all right so it's right there the phillips that's one two and the third one is right here underneath right with this edge all right and the clip right there and the same thing on the other side then rotate your tires so in the bottom of the car we got to take this off that the inner inner ones like they're inside this base you see that this is like outer one that's inside that's out that's in so take the one that's inwards take those out that's one just a third one three uh, same thing on the other side and go all the way straight through not these not these either not that either just from inside all right so what you guys want to do now is this one will be loose right here this is already loose the top piece and then all you got to do is pry this this spot out the three tabs here and then there's a tab here you just pull towards you and it comes right off so come this way right there see these are the three tabs right here you got to pry into and then you pull outwards so it comes right out Yeah, there's one over there. There's a few there. Just pull it towards you, bro. It's fine. See? And it will come right off like that. Make sure if you have fog lights, you just disconnect the lights from the bottom. Once it's off. And probably one more clip down here. Attached to. Yeah, there's one more clip down there, so I gotta remove it. Then this will come off. The bumper's off, guys. That's how easy it was. It takes about 10 minutes, 7 minutes, 
Well, it took me about 10 minutes because I was recording too. So, yeah. Um, also, for new people who subscribe to me already, I uh, just want to say welcome to my channel. I appreciate you guys coming through. And this looks so funny, bro. <laughs> just stare at the bumper like you said, no car behind it. <laughs> so, yeah, the quick thing if you guys want to take off your chrome piece, from three piece chrome, the front grill, the clips are in the back, the tabs. They're like right here, these tabs right here. If you use these, yeah, just tap them out. The chrome will come out. You could do vinyl then, or you could do whatever, spray it, plastic dip, so you don't have oil spray on the car. Um, you could do it that way too, if you do want to do it like professionally wrap yourself. Take the chrome pieces out and wrap it and put it back in. Yep, so. And never lose a front lip, guys, because never lose it. It's money. <laughs> so what you guys want to do is grab a what? What are, we, what are we grabbing? What size is best? What do you recommend, bro? It's like number 10s or something like that. Maybe some quarter inch yeah. if you really want to go crazy. That's the whole set, right? For like each side? Yeah, so it's like, like three. three or four if I'm per side. So like I grabbed nine total, like three pieces of this. So I have nine screws in total, three on each side. And we're gonna bolt it in the back, in the bottom, like right there. Screw is. So I'll put the the bolt and then put a nut over it. So this way I'll put, put one there, put one there. So three for each each piece, and then three for the middle piece, and three for this side. So this way you don't lose. This see, there's a clip right here holding this piece. So push these clips out, and this will pop right out. Shoot easily come out i think there might be a tab here or something like that but just jiggle it jiggle it wiggle it should come off easily and then just you know that's all you gotta do so you never lose your lip guys and he's gonna be working on the crash bar where's it at right here so well so i'll show you guys what we end up doing and then you guys can get the same setup Stay tuned to keep watching. All right, so that's off. That piece I was talking about, it's off. It's just held by this tab right here, this tab, and a third tab. Show you guys a four view so you know which tabs. One, two, three. Try to take it off. It said to take this tab off and this tab off as well. And there was two tiny tabs right here. It was held by right here. See those clips? I just kind of yank it onto it and it came off this side. And on that side then we got it off you can see the screws right there so we're trying to go over there and put it on put the bolt and the nut uh, and we got one right here done see that that's how we want it done never lose the lip again <laughs> so the trick what i'm doing here is putting the new screw in the bolt of course using the drill the same hole actually so it just goes right through and then the bolt, I'm holding it by this 10 millimeter wrench right here. I just kind of hold it right there and drill it and it just locks in by itself. All right, done. Do the same thing. Obviously, I'm gonna do one more right there. I'm gonna throw in three more, like obviously one, two, three here and three on this panel and we're good to go. And then I'll show you guys real quick with the front rods. Do this professionally guys. That's why you guys love my channel stay tuned for more awesome content all right that bumper is ready it is not going anywhere all right guys here's a measurement i don't know if you guys have these welds on yours the same area exact same location it'll be like right by it so but still want to show you from where honda sensing is so you guys could figure out where to put yours see that there you go it's from honda sensing all the way here so right at right at this measurement who else does this guys only me only red line mods that's it so same thing on this side yep right at 10 it finishes right at 10 so same thing on this side all right and we'll put the bumper back on and try to put those rods back in and we'll see from there all right so we attach this piece right to it, right here. We remove this piece, this small bracket, 
not that one, the small one, from here, from the rod. So we're gonna tighten them up there. Let's see. All right, it is done. Put the bumper back on. There we have it. See how I told you guys is right there is attached in the corner before I had it with the bumper, but that was a big risk. But now it's with the, the crash bar. It's not coming anywhere. You guys can pull on this, you'll break this off, it's fine. But the bumper is not going anywhere. Worst case scenario, like really worst case scenario. This will just break off the middle piece and just come right off. But this will stay. So the main concern was the whole bumper doesn't fly off or break off. That's what you don't want to happen to your car. And that's it guys, it's pretty easy to do. It's all just mind. <laughs> Yeah, um, so yeah, especially, um, I don't know, I really love the look right now. It's more aggressive to it. See, I'll put the link in the description below for this product. Also, smash the like button, subscribe, and of course, share this video with someone who may need to do this. Someone might have this bars right here already attached over here. You might want to tell them, hey, change this to the crash bar area. That's what you guys want to do. So that works out great now. It's perfect and that's it guys enjoy hope this video was helpful and again peace out